Hello, my name is Hannah and I work at the tax department here at Thompson Act. Today I have a short presentation for you where we will cover how to set up your Iris Open Space account, access and approve your files online, and how you can upload your documents to our Open Space portal. For those of you who don't know, Iris Open Space is the online portal we use to securely send out your documents. This method of sending out information is far more secure than email or postal service, which can both be intercepted. The Open Space Portal, on the other hand, is safe, secure, and fully compliant with the GDPR rules, which came into effect from May 2018. Once you've agreed to receive your documents via the Open Space Portal, you'll be notified by a member of our team once we have set up your account and added the files. The first thing you'll need to do to view your files is to set up a password. In order to do this, you'll need to find the email from noreply at irisopenspace.co.uk, which you should have received around the same time that we set up your account. This should look like the one shown here, and if you can't locate it in your inbox, then it is worth checking your junk or spam files as it can often get lost there. If this happens, remember to mark the centre as safe so that any future emails are sent to your main inbox. Once you've found the email, you'll need to follow the link, which is circled here in bed, in order to activate your account. This should open up a web page where you can set up your password. Here, you'll need to simply enter and confirm your password before clicking the blue set password button. Your chosen password must be eight or more letters, contain a combination of upper and lower class characters, and have at least one special character and one number. Once you've created a secure password, please ensure you make a note of this somewhere safe, as you'll require every time you log into the portal. You'll then be asked to log into the portal and will be redirected to the sign-in screen. This is the same sign-in screen you'll use each time you access your account. You simply need to enter your email address and the password that you've just created, then click the blue login button. The first time you sign into your account, you'll be asked to read and agree to the terms and conditions. Once you have reviewed these and are happy to proceed, you'll see a small box on the left-hand corner to tick. After you check this box, the dialog box should close automatically and you should be left looking at your dashboard. This is your home screen and where you'll be taken each time you sign into the portal. Any new files uploaded will be shown on the main screen in front of you. However, if you want to access all of your files, you can navigate to this by using the Files button circled on the screen. You can also upload your files from the screen, but we will come back to that in just a second. Once you've located the file that you wish to access, click on the title of the file. This should open a pop-up window at the bottom of your screen where you can click Open. This will open the file up on your PC and you will then be able to save or print it as you usually would. Now, how to approve your files varies depending on if you're using a computer or a handheld device such as a mobile phone or a tablet. We'll look at how to do this first on a computer or laptop. So, after you've reviewed the documents and you're happy that they can be submitted, on the left hand side of the screen, you will see a section called Awaiting Approval. If you click on this, you'll be shown all the files that are waiting for you to approve them. Next to the file you want to approve, you will see the blue Approve button, which I've circled on the screen. Once you click this, you'll be asked to confirm the approval by clicking the blue Approve button brought up by the pop-up message. After doing so, you'll notice that the blue button next to the file will change to say Approved, followed by a date. We will be notified of your approval automatically at this point by an automated email, so there's no need for you to email us or phone us to tell us that you've done so. Alternatively, for people using mobile phones or tablets, you'll need to sign into your account as usual. You'll then receive an email each time a document is added for your approval, so this could be an easier, more simple way to find the page that you need. Once you're signed in, click the small arrow next to your name, which is circled on the screen, and then go to Files from Thompson Raft. Once you can see the file that you wish to approve, tap the small information symbol on the right hand side of the screen. 
this will bring up a green thumbs up button which you can press to approve the file or a red thumbs down button which you can use to reject the file if some kind of amendment is required on the document. As with approving files from the PC, you'll then be asked to confirm that you approve, after which you'll be automatically notified of your decision. Once you've approved the files, you do not need to do anything further. However, please make sure you save down the files. As I mentioned earlier, they will be removed from the portal seven days after being approved. Now, finally, you may wish to upload to the portal documents such as your tax return information or information that we need to complete your accounts. To do this, you'll need to sign into your account and access the dashboard as we did on the previous slides. Once there, select the Upload Files button as circled here. This will bring up a box where you can add your files using the blue button in the left-hand corner. Or alternatively, and probably simpler, you can just drag and drop the files into the box from your computer. Once you have selected all the files you require, click upload and we will be notified that you have uploaded files to the portal. So that completes our guide to using the Iris Open Space portal. If you have any questions about using the portal or you're still struggling on accessing or approving your files, then please feel free to send me an email at hannah.scuggs at twca.co.uk and I will try and help you in any way that I can. So thank you for watching and I hope you now feel more confident in using the open space portal.